Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. This is going to be an early access look at Millennial Farms map by Mappers Paradise. Big thank you to Mappers Paradise as well for letting me be able to take a look at this. Uh, big thank you to them. They do a lot of good work for the game and they make a lot of really good maps out there. So um, there you go. But here we are. We are on the Millennial Farmers map. It's great. Let's hop in the menu. Uh, so here we are. We own these three chunks of land starting out in new farmer mode. Uh, so we have that field there. Big field four and then field 23 here. Now, I don't watch Millennial Farmer on YouTube or any of that, so I'm not going to be able to compare any of that. I just play farm sim, so that's what I'm here for. So, um, yeah, in terms of how realistic it is to that, I don't know. I think it is because I think it was pretty realistic uh, uh, last time when um, they did it for Farming Simulator 19. But really cool to see this map come back for Farming Simulator 22. And we hope to see it again for Farming Simulator 25. We do have a custom crop calendar, which is quite nice. And we have Durham Wheat and Rye as added new crop types. And my understanding is this will be for all platforms as well. Could be wrong about that, but that's my understanding. Go down to the bottom, we got quite a few added products in here. I didn't install any mods or anything like that. This is just what we have. We have Durham Wheat, we have Rye, we have dried corn, soybean straw, propane, Durham flour, Rye flour, pasta, corn flour, fine corn flour, apple pie, apple juice, pumpkin, apple or pumpkin pie apples rye bread cornbread sweet cornbread lemonade lemons pineapple juice pineapple orange juice oranges right just like that perfect um and again this is also could be some things that are changed on this by the time it ends up getting released so just be aware of that um here's all of our starting equipment a new farmer mode we'll take a look at that in a second we start with a hundred thousand dollars no starting loan no animal pens to start off with there are contracts in the fields you do not own obviously some of the fields are quite large so get some good money off of those we do own a production chain. We have the silo system, which will make dried corn from corn and propane. Um, wheat just comes out as wheat. Corn comes out as corn. Those just, again, it's silo. So that's uh, the concept there, but it also has the dryer function as well. And so everything's the same, except for you're able to make your dried corn in here, uh, which there's no loss to that. And if we compare corn prices in here, dried corn, best price looking at probably 2,900 compared to, yeah, 1,500. Yep, yeah, you're gonna wanna dry that corn off. So it's good to go for you. But uh, yeah, and then, oh, down here, one collectible. No idea where that's at or what it is. Don't even want to try to look for it. I'm scared to look for it. Um, let's speed up time. We'll get up to yeah, about noon-ish there. And let's take a look in the store at our starting equipment. Um, well, actually, is there any mods of this map as well, either? Uh, yeah, we got some different equipment that'll hold propane. Um, this is the middle Millennial Pickup 2017. Um, I love that we have the, it's everything looks, appears to be pretty much the same. We just have the Millennial Farms icon on the side of it, which is great. We have the pace setter here, which holds the added crops, but most of the grain, um, and I think I'm sure just pretty much anything is going to hold those. Um, any of the bulk things should hold them. We give them a second here to go through. Yeah, so all the all the bulk stuff is going to go in just like anything else. Uh, but if we go back in here, we also have the pickup, or not the pickup, good Lord, the semi truck, which has the icon on it as well which is pretty cool. So cool to see some stuff in there. Uh, we have nothing least to start off starting equipment. We have a John Deere 8RT410 and a John Deere 8R280. We also have ourselves a Mac Pinnacle 6x4, the Millennial Farms one, and another one that's also the Millennial Farms one as well. Uh, moving on to harvesters, we have the John Deere X9 1100. We have ourselves a corn header for that, the John Deere C16F, and a grain header, the HD45X, also by John Deere. For crop protection, we have a big old hardy Rubicon for us to use. For pickups, of course, we have, or for cars, we, of course, have the Pickup 2017, the Millennial Farmer Edition. Uh, trailers, we, of course, have a couple of the Millennial Farmer Pace Setters there, which is great to see. Cultivators, big old Vaderstad cultivator there. A nice big seeder there, which also does your Durham Wheat and um, your, oh, God, I forgot the other one now. Durham Wheat, what's the other one? Uh, Durham Wheat and uh, Rye. Rye, there we go. Durham Wheat and Rye. I'm very forgetful, I'm sorry. Uh, planter here. Uh, it's going to be a director of John Deere planter there. Big old planter. Doesn't do any added crops or anything like that. Fertilizer spreader. And finally, a big old header trailer if you wanted to use it. So all set there. In terms of harvesting, um, these guys are going to do your Durham wheat and rye. And it's just going to be with a standard grain header. So nothing crazy there. Uh, but yes, let's get the map on down there. Let's walk around our farmyard. Open this up. Big storage in there. And again, I'm assuming this is realistic to the farm. Um, here is the silo function here. This is the one that does your corn drying and everything like that. Got one of our trucks parked out here. On the corner there, I don't think there's a whole lot. I think this just goes around the silo. Not 
sure does. It just goes around the silo there. We have ourselves, of course, a farmhouse out here. Ooh. Sign say. Uh, bonus cast. Get to Skull Island, and here you will find a clue that you need to find the money. I'm assuming that has to do with the one collectible on here, which is great. Uh, we have a sleep trigger there. Oh, can't go inside the house. I was curious about that. Can we go in the garage? Yes! All right. Both garages are open, and we have our pickup truck. Oop, I just hit my microphone. Hopefully, that didn't cause any weird noises there. And uh, pickup truck in there as well. Pretty sweet. Um, let's go back over here. Okay, so we've been through that shed. we got a couple more big sheds over here, and I'm assuming... It's like a propane storage, maybe, of some kind over there. Plenty of workshop. I don't know what that is going to be for. Maybe fuel? It could be just regular fuel as well. I am pretty curious. It's very propane-esque to me. I'm assuming that might be like a propane buy point. We might have to test that out. Um, just so I can give that information to you guys. Oh, can we open this? We can. There we go. Big shed, of course, in here with a bunch of our equipment stored in it. And we also have a repair trigger. I love the... I actually really like this. How they set that up. Really well done, Mapper's Paradise. Like that. Of course, you can go in the shop and through it. Because why not? Turn on the lights. Like to. This goes out back that way. Can you open that up too? Oh my gosh, you can even open the little under the stairs storage room. It's in our little parts room. Go upstairs as well. Maybe if I can get up there. There we go. Storage. Little bedroom as well. This comes back out. <laughs> That's awesome. And then, of course, you can overlook the shop here. So I'll hop back down. You can open any of these doors if you'd like to. Easy peasy. Go out this door if you want to as well. We have our other truck back over there, tucked away there. I love that you can see in the window there and see all that stuff in there. Just another big shop here. All our stuff is pulled in and parked in here. This is a big door. Good gravy, it's a massive door. You can open this as well. Yeah. It all feels and looks uh looks quite nice. Yeah, I like that. And that's our one of our fields out there. Off to the left is our other one. This grass field that's over here is not ours. This field is not ours out here. Is this grass in it? Yeah, grass. So this is not ours. Um, but yeah, pretty cool little setup there. Um, we don't have anything that holds propane. So let's head back over here. I'm curious about that little fluid area over there. So if I do that and I buy ourselves, we go to here. Let's just buy one of those. We can use one of the trucks here. Just curious. Got to see what it does. I'm assuming it's something to do with the propane, but we could be wrong, so I don't want to give you guys the bad advice. We'll do that, and then we'll do a drive around of the map. We'll take a look at the other new productions and see what's required for those. And then uh, what we'll do after that is uh, do a flyover and call it a map tour. But yeah, very nice. I'm just going to hit it. Hmm. There's a cover I could open for this. I would guess this would have been for propane. Could be completely wrong about it. Huh. Could be very well something I'm doing wrong as well, and if it is, I do apologize about that. Uh, maybe it's a silo, so if we fill this up, we can store it here. Put some propane in here. Yep, there we go. It's a silo for propane. That's my bad. Not a buy point. Of course, I should have thought that first. But yes, you can store extra propane in here. No idea how much, but at least we know what that is for. Okay. Let's add ourselves in some money. To buy productions as needed. And then I'm also going to purchase all the land uh, to make sure that uh, we're not missing anything. Okay. So, yeah, store deliveries. That's what I just put down there. Uh, but yes, now we own all the land, so we'll see everything on it and everything like that. A little sheep barn over there. Do we own anything from doing that? Yeah, we own the pig farm. Uh, it's a cow pasture up there. Where are the pigs at? Little piggies. There they are. Pig farm down there. Okay, perfect. 
Uh, did we gain any new? Uh, no, we did not gain any new um, production chains, which means you have to buy the production chain separate. That is good to know. Okay. Off we go. Riding around in our snazzy pickup truck here. <laughs> Small sign. <laughs> I love that. That's perfect. All right. I think we will hit the town last. Let's go left. We'll head down here. Head right here. And then we might actually just cut across the bottom. This might, might be a little, little cheaty driving down there. Just to save us a little bit of time, making sure we can take a look at everything as we're going. But, uh, yeah. Straight ahead here. This is our little pig farm. If you want it, you can buy the land. Got a nice little pig pasture here. And I'm actually going to... I want to hop out, but I want to make sure that my truck stays on so it'll be quicker when I get back in and out of it um, as I go. I go over here to the pigs. 150 pigs you can put in there. You can got some nice little storage and stuff, so you can make a nice little pig farm here if you'd like to do that. We'll head up around this way. We should be able to just take, uh, yeah, just a right here. This road that heads out to the edge of the map there. All right. So left-hand side, as we're getting close here, we have ourselves livestock bale sell point and the animal dealer. So bale sell point right there. And you have the animal dealer trigger right there. So I'll set up for you to do whatever you need to do. And we are going to just destroy the crops. I, maybe I should not destroy the crops all the way. We can just turn crop destruction off too. I guess that's probably an easier way to do this. Um, crop destruction. Where are you? There it is. Off. Okay, perfect. Now we'll stop actually destroying the crops we can just drive across it just matters a little bit for when i go to take thumbnail shots it looks weird to have a big line through the field but otherwise no big deal in terms of that um yeah we'll head straight over there bottom corner there i think that's the, that bga looks like a bga yeah bga down there and again we don't own that right now we own can we buy all the land it looks like yeah you can buy all the land too as well which is nice uh but yeah buying the land the bga is on does not give you the bga which is land for the BGA. Would not let me. There we go. Hmm. Interesting. I can't find it. It doesn't appear to be part of one of the lands, but it seems as though if you. Land 24 is what's selected. Yeah, it's up there. Interesting. Huh. It won't let me select it, but if you use an easy dev, it lets you buy all the land. So it may not be something you actually can buy um, if you end up playing this on console. But uh, anyhow, hop out, take a look at the BGA here. Maybe. Oh, there we go. I'll say, is it not opening? All right, here's the life one here 500,000 and fairly standard silage, uh, slurry manure, and sugar beet. Uh, so. Very standard BGA there. And what have we got up here on the left-hand side? Oh yeah, a little sheep pasture. That's nice. A little sheep farm here. You could do that if you wanted to do that. We'll just swoop around the back here. Oh, we can't. It's all fenced in. Never mind. That was a bit of a failure. Better slow down. All right, go into the drink. I'll hop over and just take a look at it real quick in terms of capacity. Maybe. Well, it says we don't we don't own this though, do we? And it just has the pig farm on there. I wonder if I if I sell it, rebuy it. Nope, didn't do it for me. Huh? Not sure. There's something I'm doing wrong there. Could be I glitched something out, but will not let me get access to that sheep farm. Um, okay, up next we have a cow pasture, which is probably also going to have the same issue with not letting me have access to it. Pretty strange. Pretty strange. Yeah, cow pasture and a uh, nice little farmhouse. So, nice little farm here. Now, one thing I am curious about, if that is a problem, can I sell that sheep pasture off? 
yeah, for sure. I can sell it. So, uh, yeah, you can sell the, well, you can sell the farmhouses as well, which is kind of nice. Unless there's something missing where I need to buy it somehow. I, <laughs> which I could be the case. Could be missing something. This also looks like it should be like a silo. Oh, I can go right through that. I might have broken something by buying it all using easy dev. Very possible I did. But, uh, very possible I broke something. Open that up. I can open the garage. That's nice. Um, yeah, this is a farmhouse trigger as well. We can't go in there. Where's the trigger at? Oh, right back here. There we go. Save trigger there. This isn't a bunker style, is it? No, it kind of looks like it might be. And there are cows in here as well, which is interesting. Assuming I cannot access it though. Yeah, there's definitely cows out here. Can I sell this piece of land? I like sell all the objects on it. That's the error it should have given me earlier. It will let me. It'll let me sell. Looks like pretty much everything on here. Oh, even the decorative portions of it. So maybe this is all designed to be decorative, and you can just sell it all off. It's kind of nifty, actually. I like that you could do that. Storage shed, farmhouse. Yeah, you could sell all this off if you wanted to down here oh nice a little dock for them to go out and about on their little lake here that's nice okay well that's this little farm area here I like that i like that you can sell off all the decoration and everything if you wanted to kind of build your own farm from scratch and that does actually spark another question which i'm curious about are there any custom buildings in here yeah so you have the big shop here we got some of the other sheds that we've seen around the map and everything like that. Silos, we have a custom bunker silo. Silo extensions, nothing there. Containers, we have ourselves a seed silo, which this thing is huge, but very cool. Tools, we have the workshop, farmhouses. You do have a couple of different farmhouses here for you to choose from. Productions, can we build some of these factories for can. We have the Millennial Farms Dairy. We have the special bakery required. Also the juice factory. And then we also can place down more BJs if you'd like to. Selling points, we have selling station two, which we can place down. Uh, we have the Millennial Farms greenhouse, which is gonna make some of those custom crops down there. Which actually I might just place one of those real quick. Orchards, nothing there. Generators, nothing there. Animals, we do have some of those specialty animal pens. Yeah, quite nice. Landscaping, do we have a lot of painting textures? Just the standard ones there. And then uh, those look also standard as well. But I guess I placed it. Where did I place it? I placed it, well, I placed it way up there. We also can do this to take a look at it. Um, all right. So water manure for all these, it looks like. Yep. To get all your pumpkins, apples, and pineapples, oranges, and lemons. Water manure is what you're going to need for that. All right. Get back on the main road here. So, we'll head straight up this way. We'll stop by the seed silo, and then we will take a look at selling station two, and then head over to town, and then do a flyover. Probably just drive by it. It should just be a seed storage facility there. But quite cool. I like it. Yeah, that, thing's, that thing's pretty sweet. And over here, we have selling station two up on the other side of the hill there. Kind of like a junkyard area here that's owned by this guy. Oops, I didn't want to hop out of that, but... Yeah, like a little repair shop kind of place. That looks really nice. I really like that. Yeah, I like that little place there. Very American. Very American how it's all set up. There's selling station there. If they go in here, this will take us right up into the town area, which is where we should have some more factories and stuff. And now, in terms of everything that's new products, yeah, I think the grain mill will have some new stuff for us as well. So we'll take a look at that. And then the bakery is going to be the other, the other main one that's going to have... Uh, new products and things for us. All right. Went into town. Have a nice little fuel station there on the left-hand side. 
Oh, got T-boned. Would have been my fault for sure. Uh, but yeah, if we zoom in a little bit more on the town here. Fuel station. Then we have ourselves railroad storage trigger. Oh, we do have a railroad system here. And then you can sell it off to Glenwood. So a nice railroad, huge railroad area here. What's that little icon on the right-hand side? Oh, it's going to be the rent train point. Rent train point, and that's all the silo in here. Lowry Crane. Huge grain yard. Huge. Absolutely massive. Yeah, plenty of space to do work in here and turn around and do whatever else you need to do. Uh, oh, we have a grain cell point right here as well if you just wanted to sell it off and not have to deal with it yourself putting it on the train or anything. Left-hand side there. That is our vehicle shop, actually. You can see you can go inside there. We can go inside there and take a look around. How do we get in here? Aha. Very tinted windows, for sure, on that. This looks fantastic. <laughs> this is great. Love that. Delivery area back here. This is where your stuff is going to spawn in, which is pretty sweet. And you can open these doors, uh, theoretically. There you go. Get it all out. Do whatever you need to do. Yeah, that's quite cool. I like that. Okay, so we'll head over to the grain mill, and then we'll loop back through this way through town. So that's what we'll do. Grain mill's just right over there. We'll we'll drive around and get in there the proper way. It looks like we've got a little fire station down there too, actually. So fire trucks out. Nice American fire trucks parked out there. That looks fantastic. There's a lot of really good detail in this map. I like this a lot. All right, grain mill. Purchase it. Maybe, there we go, 96,000, so standard. Uh, we have fine corn flour made from the dried corn, then corn flour made from regular corn, durum flour made from, of course, durum wheat, and then rye flour made from, of course, rye. So there you go. All pretty straightforward there. All right, we'll take a right on the main road here and then head back kind of through town. And then after we take a look at the last couple productions, We'll do a quick flyover and call it a map tour at that. Uh, so we have the dairy here. I don't think there's anything custom with the dairy. We'll double check real quick. There's the train going by actually too. Decent sized train there. Yep, all very standard there for the dairy. Sorry, traffic. And then what else we got coming up here? We have on the right hand side, we have the shop cell point and the bakery. Bakery's gonna be a big one, so. We'll pull over into here. Drop cell point right there. Lizard tint's nice. <laughs> Bakery there. Boom, boom, boom. Bread, cake, sweet cornbread, apple pie, pumpkin pie, cornbread, pasta, and rye bread. So we've got those custom ones in there. Across the way here, we have a nice little lumber mill or sawmill area here. Nifty little shop there. Yeah, a lot of really good detail on this map. I'm trying not to get in a car accident here. And then that gets us back over here. The one thing we haven't seen, if I'm not mistaken, is we, there's no juice factory anywhere on the map. So if we place that just to be able to see what we can do. Grape juice, apple juice, orange juice, pineapple juice, and lemonade with a little bit of sugar. But yeah, I don't think there's any juice factory anywhere. But uh, anyhow... Speed 80? Good lord, I love it. <laughs> Alright, let's do a quick flyover and call it a map tour. Alright, got the town area here. That goes out, you can see, kind of, it actually blends really well. Uh, that's the edge of the map right along there and out that way. You can see we got the gas station down here. My custom juice factory. Uh, anyhow, sawmill over there as well. Big grain yard here. Bakery down there. Another cell point. The shop cell point. Dairy's over there. Grain cell point here. Got the vehicle dealer here. It's a little volunteer fire department. Grain mill up over there. You can see that's the edge. It's off that way. Now if we head down this way, this field is ours when you start, and this one is too. That grass field's not, and that small one is there. And then here's our kind of starting farm. Oh, I didn't even notice. We have a nice little pool back there as well. Uh, but yeah, here's our starting farm right there. Nice little compound. Out this way, we have the pig farm. 
Then we have a little further down here, we have ourselves the animal dealer and the cell point that's with the animal dealer down here. You can see we're now kind of on the bottom now, and there's where I started to destroy the crops. Nice little lake area there, which is quite nice. Looks like a really cool looking bridge. Is that a covered bridge? It sure is. No, it's not a bridge at all, is it? It is a bridge, but where does it where do you get into this bridge? It's dead in it over there. Oh, oh, is this like can you not get out? You can't get out there. Gotta be able to get out there somehow. Man oh man. I'm running into a nice barrier there. I fly over it. The secret's in there. There we go. That took a hot minute to get over that. Yeah. Only Quile Bill are allowed to enter this door, as you may get a shock on entry, Doctor Who. Oh. Interesting. Yeah. You can go in this tunnel, looks like. Where does this come out? Oh, my heavens. Let us get out of flight mode. Just come right up. Oh my goodness! The secret door. Sorry for the spoilers, people. Wowzers. Ah. Private getaway island. Oh, there's a nice little audio there. Fantastic. This is really cool. Okay. Sorry if I gave that away for some of you. Go back in flight mode. I mean, to be fair, it's all right there, and you guys probably could have figured that out eventually. Um, maybe not, though. Okay. Off we go again. BJ's down here. Then up here, we have just uh, a nice little... It's the sheep farm there. Sheep farm. The cow farm, if we head up here a little ways, you can see kind of we're on the edge of the map. So we started up here, flew around here, went down this way, past the new farm, over this way, past a little secret island. BJ, sheep farm, cow farm. And now we're heading up towards... Oop, this way. Heading up towards the top of the map over here. Got your seed storage there, and then this really cool, really cool little automotive shop here, which the hood's up even on that one. This is fantastic. I love this little shop. This is really cool. Yeah, I like that. That's very cool. Then we have a cell point there. Then we get back up this way towards the main town, and that is everything. Very cool map. Very well done. That is what I got for you guys. If you guys enjoyed, please drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.